Last month, Talk Business in conjunction with the Arkansas State Chamber of Commerce and consulting group CEG Partners completed our first semi-annual Business Leaders Confidence Survey. We asked more than 100 Arkansas CEOs, company presidents, and general managers for their take on economic prospects in 2014. Joining me to talk business is Mike Stafford, managing partner with CEG Partners and our partner in this survey. Thank you for being here. Thanks for having me, Roby. Let's talk a little bit about just kind of overall what we got out of this survey. We got CEOs mm -hmm. and company presidents, plant managers, general managers from, tell, tell our audience a little bit of where all they came from. That's right. Well, we basically were lucky enough to survey all of the major industries here in the state, uh, healthcare, pharmaceuticals, manufacturing, uh, construction, finance so yeah we've hit we've hit all the major a little bit of everything yeah yeah what were some of the big takeaways that you can kind of say just from the top lines i mean are we optimistic about 2014 pessimistic or somewhere in between yeah it's a a, a slightly optimistic uh view for the next uh si next six months or so and uh you know it's what we've heard from all the economists that i'm sure you've talked to that that modest recovery is the thing that that we see in a lot of the data Let's drill down in some of the uh, full screen graphics that we have here and talk about, uh, I think our first one that we've got queued up here is, how are overall economic conditions, how do they compare to about six months ago? And what we found from the survey data is that 25% see it being much or somewhat better than six months ago. Um, approximately 54% uh, say it's about the same. Uh, then we have 15% say it's somewhat worse, 6% much worse. Does that surprise you? Uh, not a not a whole lot. Um, you know, it, it was slightly positive looking back, a little bit more negative. But when you you get to the future, they're a little bit more optimistic about the future, which is good news. And let's look at what they say about the future here too. We talk about uh, how they see economic conditions changing mm -hmm. in the next six months. Thirty five percent see it as being much or somewhat better. Thirty seven percent about the same. Twenty two percent somewhat worse. 5% much worse. That's actually not bad when you look at the much worse is not that big. And, and that's right, Roby, the, that 35% was more like 25% when looking backwards. So about a 10 point swing in the positive is what we're seeing are, for the future. Are we just generally optimistic people, do you think? Yeah, or? it could be, <laughs> could be. It's a new year. <laughs> yeah. Was there anything that came from maybe any comments in the survey that gave you some insight on why they felt things might be moving? Yeah, and, and we've dug a little deeper into some of the data and, and it, you know, as an aggregate, as a whole, it's fairly positive. But if you break it out by industry, you see some different trends. So like manufacturing, you know, is fairly positive. Uh, healthcare and pharmaceutical industry was not so, not so positive. positive. We're going to get yeah. to that in just a second here too. Okay. Let's look at what their expectations were <clears throat> in terms of revenue growth uh, for the next six months. Again, uh, some generally very positive news here. Uh, our 100 plus CEO see 64% that it will increase slightly or increase significantly and most of that was the, in the increase slightly category there. 16% mm -hmm. say no change in expected revenues for the next six months. 15% decrease slightly and 5% decrease significantly. Our next slide actually indicates what you uh, were talking about in the healthcare sector there where we see only 24% see revenue increasing slightly, 0% increasing significantly, <laughs> no change for 12%, 35% decrease slightly, 29% decrease significantly. That is a dramatic difference in that healthcare sector versus the overall numbers. It, it is when we when we look at everybody but healthcare, you see a fairly positive outlook. When you look at just healthcare, it's almost a flip flop. Obviously the healthcare uh, debate that's going on nationally for the last few years, there's just this pessimism from CEOs of hospitals and other medical organizations that they just don't, they don't see that being a positive for them. Absolutely, yeah. As far as revenues in their mind going forward, that part of the healthcare industry is uh, a little under the weather. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's look at employee growth here. Again, just from our survey here, in the next six months, mm -hmm. do you plan to increase employment, uh, decrease employment, or no change? We see 40% see a, a slight or significant increase in employment, 35% no change whatsoever, 24% decrease slightly, 1%, only 1%, a big significant decline in employment for the next six months. Yeah, and, it, and if you looked at that on a chart, you'd see a lot of middle of the road 
kind of, you know, no change, maybe some change, maybe in the wrong direction. And so you, you've got that, that difference of revenue seems fairly positive, but I'm still concerned about my cost and controlling those costs. And we, uh, I think you could see this too. You could be a, a glass half full person or a glass half empty. You could That's say, right. well, uh, overwhelming majority are either going to not change or increase slightly or uh, half or more than half are going to decrease slightly or not make any change. Just depends on where your level of optimism is. Yeah, and I, and, is. I, and I think like you said, it's, it's, uh, there's still some unknowns, you know, and, and one of the uh, comments that we, that we received were uh, that regulation and compliance is the fastest growing part of their business. Not necessarily the biggest revenue generator That's not for a what company. you want, yeah. <laughs> All right, uh, last question here that I think that we rolled through is expected <clears throat> capital expenditures. How much do you expect to spend in the next six months? 52% uh, either slightly or significantly, most of that in the slightly category. Mm -hmm. No change for 31%, 12% uh, decrease slightly, 5% decrease significantly. Again, kind of back to your point that um, people are trying to control costs. They see revenue growth, mm -hmm. not as much employee growth relative to revenue, not as much CapEx growth mm -hmm. as uh, a part of revenue. So they're going to make some more money, I guess, this next year with That's, controlling their costs. Yeah, you, you would, you, one would expect to see some profits increase a little there. But, uh, but yeah, they, they are a little more aggressive on the capital investment than they are on hiring more people. Uh, and we see that same trend in the national results that we've seen as well. So pull all this together into the crystal ball and I guess just kind of <laughs> summarize all this. And what should a business leader do with this information? I mean, what, what does it give them in terms of degree of confidence? Well, I, I think you're, you know, as we do this again, we'll see, we'll have some baseline to compare to. Um, but it's, again, that modest recovery. I think the businesses are still going to continue to try to uh, rein in on expenses and costs and, and watch uh, you know what the bottom line is. All right, he's Mike Stafford with CEG Partners. He's mm -hmm. part of our Business Leaders Confidence Survey. Thank you so much for doing this. Thanks, Roby, for and having me. Thanks for being here. Appreciate you.